Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and I haven't made a video in a few days just because I've had, been having some wisdom tooth problems. <laughs> and every time I sing, it's just like, oh my jaw. Um, so I haven't been doing much vocal stuff lately. Um, but yeah, anyways. So I recorded this video last week, and I just didn't upload it. Um, because I kind of had some time-sensitive references in there, like, I'm going to have this video by this day. And then, um, when I thought about it, I was like, eh, I don't think I can have that. I, I was referencing my Q&A video, so I didn't upload it. Um, so I'm just going to redo this video right now. Um, basically, I kind of want to summarize a bunch of different techniques to get the high screen technique. Um, just for kind of a reminder, summary of, like, a bunch of different videos. Because um, <clears throat> a lot of people have problems trying to get that first initial screen. And so, you know... I've kind of, I know a bunch of little ways to teach it, because I've tried to teach it to a bunch of people. Um, so anyways, one of the ways I kind of showed it in the first time is um, to kind of get a whisper. And you kind of just add more pressure, make it more aggressive. And this this way is a little iffy, because, um, you know, as, as always, there's was, uh, ways to do this wrong and hurt yourself. But, you know, as long as you're smart about it and stop when it hurts too bad, and you'll be fine. Just stop. Um, just be smart about it. You'll be good. This is kind of one of the ways that I um, started doing it. One of one of the, you know, I tried a bunch of stuff, and this is one of the things that worked for me. So you kind of just scream like you're whisper, like a whisper scream, um, just like you're making fun of a band or just kind of joking around with your friends or like wow, you, wow, that kind of thing. And then you just kind of tighten a little bit more um, and add more pressure. So wow. That's the kind of transformation. So, and to use a bullet for my Valentine's as an example, if you kind of do whisper and then add more pressure, it'll sound like this: Patrick, one more time. 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 And then you're in screaming mode. Um, and another way I've explained it is, you know what, add rasp to your voice. Just kind of do the, uh, get a higher note and take away the note. So you kind of go like, yeah! And then you turn that sound into a scream. So you have that, And then you, you know, you kind of form it a little bit, change what you do a little bit, and then you turn it into a scream. So, yeah! And so, um, that assumes, you know, vocal rasp, um, which you may or may not know. Um, <laughs> so, you, you know, you take away the note. Um, sometimes it helps to just go high until the note disappears. So just, yeah! Ow! And then you just have to fool around to get it to the point where it actually sounds good. Um, now, another way. If you can kind of mimic, like, a, a, I guess in movies, it would be kind of like, a, or probably more of a comedy horror movie, where you're kind of mimicking a dead person, like... You know, that kind of sound. Now, that is a little more aggressive in the voice, but you can use it to transform it to a scream. So, you get that, you're like, and to get it, you can kind of get a note, and you kind of open, you kind of, and then you use more diaphragm pressure. So, it's like, Kind of, <laughs> that kind of sound, and it's really weird. But you know, you can get that sound and turn it into rasp or screaming. So, <laughs> or again, scream. And yeah, so another way to scream, kind of get that sound I described in my vocal rest videos, so just like a buzzer, you know, eh, eh, or just eh. that's your false chords that make the actual eh sound, and so using that sound kind of helps some people get that sound, so you go eh, and again, you know, this stuff can feel uncomfortable when you're doing it for the first time, but you'll, you'll figure out the technique a little better with practice, and then you, you know, it won't hurt, it'll feel fine, and you'll be able to make singing just ah, right in between, and ooh, ooh, ooh. like my falsetto is not remotely uh, clogged up after doing all that. 
And that'll eventually will be the case with you, assuming you figure it out. So you get that, and you kind of try to take away the note. Now that kind of takes some experimentation or so. Now it's not a fry scream. Um, it's not the thing. It's 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 completely different um, um, method in terms of screaming. You use different parts of your throat and everything. Um, and this is what you need to do to scream. So it's it's different from that. So like. And then from, you know, there you just need to experiment with the breath pressure. Um, and I think that's basically it for ways to kind of get to the high scream. Um, so just to summarize everything, you have the whisper thing. So you get a whisper. And you just kind of add more pressure and close the part in your throat, uh, your, your false cords, technically. Um, and then the next method was the note one, where you just kind of go... And just keep going high enough until the note disappears. And then you just change it into a scream. And the next way was the moaning kind of dead person way. The <laughs> you can transform it into that scream using that groan. And then the ant, which is kind of a more vocal rasp thing. But if you can figure out the rasp, you can figure out the scream. So like a and you can even try making it higher. And then you're in screaming mode. And so that's that's really the only ways other than, you know, uh, more silly examples. But that, those are the four main ones that I think of when I think of how to teach them on how to scream. So if those still don't help you, um, you know, really genuinely takes tons of experimentation. A lot of people, you know, I mean, when I was learning how to scream, I'd see some of these examples, and then they'd say, you know, you need breath pressure, you just need to experiment, you just need more practice, and I'd be like, okay, yeah, come on, tell me how you really did it. And it's not the case, you really do need to experiment. That, that's what it took, just take a few days and just go for it. Um, just be safe about it. And so yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future stuff. If you have any questions, again, about the screaming stuff, just let me know and I'll try my best to um, answer you in future videos or make a whole video about yourself. Or um, respond in my Q&A uh, answer video if you want a question to be in the next answers video. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks.